Yeah, you know I mean, uh, lately you've been sparring Olympic gold medalist Andy Cruz. Yeah. How many, how many times y'all work? Um, we work like six, seven times. It's, it's real good work. It's back and forth between that and her. Yeah. Yeah, when did when did you know that you belong? Like, you know, Andy really, really decorated amateur. Yeah. Like, was the first time? Like, was the first couple of rounds? You like, yo, I, you know. Yeah, I, I could do this. To make sure I stay sharp and stay on my pivot. Like, stay sharp and stay on my ten toes. Stay. I just had. To, I know I had to stay sharp with him and stay alert on everything because everything I, he was throwing, he was throwing fast and out of nowhere. So. Yeah. Did you watch him before that, or that was your first time ever like seeing him fight? Yeah, that's my first time ever seeing him fight. I never watched him fight before. But I seen. I seen when he beat Keyshawn, but like. But I ain't seen a fight in a long time from them, so. What's one of the biggest things that you had to adjust to? Um, his jab. He got a nice left hand. His jab is phenomenal. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he, he know how to, he know how to control, he know how to control his left hand. He know how to time his jab perfect to hit you. So, it was, it was like, it was like you gotta be careful for his jab. Because he know how to offset you and hit you with a jab every, every time. Now, uh, one of the reasons why you were able to have success is because you faced a lot of different styles in amateurs. Yeah, for sure. And I just had a lot of experience. I've been boxing since I was six years old, so I've been in the ring almost all my life. So it was just like it was just like getting in the ring with another with another person. So he was just sharp. I think he he has to be one of the sharpest people I've been in the ring with. Though I give him his props. He was he sharp. Andy sharp. Yeah. Now. He's, he's only been in America for a couple of months. Uh, have you seen a, like a difference in his style yeah, from when, I, yeah, when you sure. first sparred him? The first time I sparred him, he fought like a European, he fought like a Cuban. Like he, he had good feet work, he had good timing and all that. He, he had all that down pick, but now he actually got he actually got that, that pro style and, that, and that his defense started coming along with it. He, he started to learn how to work on the inside and the outside too. But at first he just learned how he just knew how to play on the outside. Now he know how to play on the inside and outside. So it's like he, like he becoming real good. Like he started like Bozy um Bo Bozy forming him to become real good. Like he becoming real sharp. He gonna be a real nice pro that people won't be looking forward to see in the future. Yo, that's a hell of a combination of styles. You got Philly style. Yeah, he and got Philly mixed style, with Cuban yeah, style. Yeah, mixed with the Cuban style. He gonna be hard to beat. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to beat him. Was that the first Cuban you ever worked with? Yeah, that's the first Cuban I've ever been in the ring. Uh, what is it about their style? Because a lot of people who like struggle. I ain't gonna say, in the amateurs and the pros, right? Es especially uh, young kids from America. Like, what is it about? It? What um, the international style? Yeah, the Cuban, the Cuban, the Cuban style, style is, is basically they they they, they box. They just complete boxers, mm -hmm. and it's all about footwork with them. So their feet work is phenomenal, and the American style is more like. To go to go at you and to sit there and bang with you and work on the inside with you. That's more the American style. So 